Hello everybody, Loki Magics, another day, another video. But today is a good day because I was able to finally beat stage 20 Fire Knights Castle on auto. I only did it eight times, I got two more to go, but it's gonna be a cinch because I figured out a method that should help all of you guys across the board, no matter what champion you have, this method should help you. So if you're interested, stay tuned. And let's go so i don't want to make this video long so i'm going to run through this real quick and also this video isn't more about the team setup it's more about this one mastery that just changed the whole game for us so so we're going to go through this real quick frozen chick you see her stats scartosis you see his stats i'm just showing the stats because maybe you have the champion and you just want to these champions you just want to mirror exactly what i did it's a cold heart one Quarter two and apothecary. So their skills attack three times. She attacks four times, both of them. And finally, Frozen Chick attacks three times on their A1s, right? So this is the key ingredient right here. This right here, retribution. So has a 50% chance to counterattack when the champion loses 25% of their max HP. Or more from a single enemy skill so fire knight every time his turn ends he slams his hammer mace whatever that thing is and he attacks the whole party and once he does that most likely everyone will lose more than 25 percent of their max hp so that means you could counter attack him immediately after that with an a1 that has three attacks cold heart has four each and Apothecary has three. So that is a possibility of hitting Fire Knight with 14 attacks worth of shield knockout damage or however you want to word it or look at it because Fire Knight's shield takes 10 hits to knock it down so that way you could actually start applying debuffs and damage to Fire Knight. So if you use Retribution it's just gonna make it that much easier because if you don't have a counter-attack champion, well, here you go, use Retribution. Now the downside though, right? There is obviously a downside is that you will have to, if you already have your masteries done, then you have to reset. And the reset will cost you 150 gems. So there is a downside, but it might be worth it to you if you're stuck on Fire Knight 20 and get, can't get past it. So. I got a clip where you guys could see all this in action so then maybe after you watch the video you could decide if it's worth it for you and this is something you could add to your arsenal to get past fire night 20. all right so let's check out the clip and then we'll talk at the end
All right, and that is how it's done. So what did, what did you guys think? That counterattack thing is pretty cool, huh? Retribution, it really helps out in Fire Knight. Now, there are some things that this team could have did better, but as you saw, the synergy between the champions was really good, so I was able to push through uh, stage 20. Now, if you have the exact champions, congratulations. Now you know how to beat stage 20 Fire Knight, but if you don't, what I would recommend is maybe throwing in a champion that has a defense decrease. Something like that would be very, very helpful. And obviously, if you have Martyr or a counterattack champion, and boom, there you go. Maybe you could add Martyr and Retribution Mastery, and then you're just gonna slay this crap out of this dude. So maybe, you know, maybe I'll do that next if I ever get to pull Martyr. But anyways, I hope this video was helpful, gave you some insight, some new ways to go at it, to beat Stage 20 Fire Knight. But if anything else, you guys have a good day, and I'll catch you later on the next video. Peace. Perfect.